Riots have swept through eastern Indonesia with protesters burning buildings, clashing with police and blocking roads. West Papua's legislative building and a prison were also torched. Now, West Papua and uh, Papua provinces are in Indonesia's east, far east, so to speak. They've been home to a long-running separatist movement against the Indonesian government. Now, Papuans say Indonesia illegally annexed the territory in the 1960s. Those tensions were evident last week, nearly 3,000 kilometers away in Surabaya in central Indonesia. Here, more than 40 Papuan students were allegedly racially abused as police detained them during Indonesia's Independence Day celebrations. This set the stage for the latest protests. Indonesian police and protesters clash near Sarong prison in West Papua. Officials say over 250 prisoners escaped on Monday when the jail was set ablaze. Protesters also damaged parts of the airport and set regional government offices on fire as they went on the rampage in the city. Violence too in the provincial capital Manokwari as rage spilled out onto the streets. Videos like this, circulated widely on the internet, have whipped up the protesters' anger. Activists say it shows Papuan students being called monkeys during an operation by security forces in East Java. The students were accused of damaging the Indonesian flag and taken into custody. Police later said no evidence was found against them. Indonesia's Minister for Political, Legal and Security Affairs has promised an investigation. The government regrets the incident involving the Indonesian flag in East Java province, which is now under investigation. The incident was followed by negative statements and has triggered unrest in several parts of Papua and West Papua provinces. Papuans are also responding to the allegations of racist abuse on social media, sharing images and hashtags with the slogan, We are not monkeys. Indonesia's president has urged an end to the rioting, telling the protesters, It's okay to be emotional, but it's better to be forgiving. <laughs> And someone who's been following these protests is human rights lawyer Veronica Koman. We can't say where she's joining us from for security reasons. Veronica, good to have you on the program with us. We just played a report, and on the basis of that, I need to ask you, is there some sense of discrimination that you think people in Papua and West Papua are responding to? Um, yes, uh, it's totally the um, uh, the original sin of Indonesia towards West Papuan people, this racism all along. And finally, they reached tipping point these past two days. So uh, when the um, uh, people say that, oh, it's due to the incident in Surabaya where the um, West Papuan students' dorm were attacked and racist slurs of monkeys, it's just... Uh, uh, it's just bigger. This they finally have reached tipping point. How would you describe so far the the Indonesian state's response to the protests and also overall, the uh, West Papua and Papua have been witnessing a separatist movement for many decades now. How would you rate the response of the Indonesian state? Um, the response of um, Indonesian government has been. Finally, they are not using security approach. Um, since the uh, since the beginning in the 1960s until now, uh, our Indonesia has been using security approach that been failing, and um, that's why uh, uh, that uh, these past few days, uh, um, usually uh, under Indonesian law, if you want to protest, you have to submit the letter of notification three days prior to the protest. But this protest, this large-scale protest, there are no um, uh, uh, notification letters submitted to the police. and But yet they can take the, the streets. Are you saying that the Indonesian um, government does not know how to deal with the protests and the popular 
feelings in Papua and West Papua? I don't think so. Because the, uh, yesterday, the Indonesian president and chief security minister already responded to this large-scale protest. But um, the, uh, the president didn't apologize. Uh, but instead, the, uh, the, the president said that don't, you may be emotional, but let's forgive each other. Of course, today, the West Papuans took this risk uh, again. The national police as well said that they are going after social media accounts which distribute provocative news about right. West Papua. Instead of going after the real perpetrators of racist attack attackers. So it's been really disappointing so far. Right. We'll have to leave it there for the time being. Veronica Coman, thank you very much for joining us.